All right, what's going on, YouTube? Um, this is Lion Sun Dread once again coming at you. It's Friday night. Um, I just got back from listening to Tavis Smiley speak at my school. It was phenomenal. It was life changing. Um, I learned a lot about myself and how I view my life as a black man in America. Um, and afterwards, I had the pleasure of meeting a couple brothers who are like-minded as myself who want to see a change in the black community so i'm i'm, I'm feeling kind of good right now i um basically i kind of just want to talk to y'all tonight about how we in america as black people operate and just some of the things i learned tonight about myself um and i guess i kind of want to ask the same question that tab is asked tonight of us which is what are you doing right now to leave a legacy on this earth? Um, I know I had to kind of self-examine myself after he said that statement because, as you all know, I am a poet, I am a writer, and it is what I pour my everything into. And if I can get someone to feel a little bit better about themselves by understanding my words about myself, then I feel I've done a good job, you know. Um, I feel like as a writer, if you can't, con if someone can't connect with something you wrote, then you weren't doing your job. You might not agree with that, but that's just the way I feel. If I can't connect in some way, shape, or form with something you wrote, then you didn't do a good job. You might not agree. That's just the way I feel because. You know, I read things by Langston Hughes and Maya Angelou and Oprah Winfrey and D.H. Lawrence, John James Weldon Johnson. Um, there are a host of many people, Nikki Giovanni, um, who people I read things, Sonia Sanchez, I read things from them and they change me, you know. And if 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 someone isn't changed, I'll retract what I said about it not being a good thing. If someone isn't changed in some way or form by something I've written, then I haven't done my job. Um, because I write for me, for you, if that makes any sense. I write for me, for you, okay? Um, that's what I've always done. That's what I'm always going to do because as a writer, that's my philosophy. I just want to be able to connect with you and let you understand what's going on in my life as a black man, as a man, as a writer, period. Um, I think that we as a people need to start self ex like Tavis asked us tonight, are we self-examining ourselves? And I think a lot of us haven't. I think we've gotten complacent with the fact that there are things that we're now, no, we're now able to do that we weren't able to do in the past. And I think we need to self-examine ourselves and think what am i doing right now to change my legacy you know what am i doing to help out my fellow man he was talking to us tonight about leadership and he said you can't lead if you don't love and you can't save if you don't serve so basically what are you doing because a lot of people say i want to be a leadership i want to be a leadership position i want to be this i want to be that but what are you doing to get yourself in those positions? You know, what are you impacting to have an impact on someone else or someone else's life? Um, so that's just where I'm at right now. I met a couple of brothers afterwards who are like minded, who may, were able to give me some connections about how I can further make an impact. Because basically what I want to do is get my message about my life and the things I like and the things I don't like and the things that I see in this world that could be different in the way I see them. I want to get that out to the world. You know, I just want to get my message from me out to the world. And however I can do that, whether it's doing these YouTube videos, whether it's writing mass amounts of poetry every day and getting it rejected just to write more the next day, because that's what happened to me. Um, and I was a little bit bitter about it, but it is what it is. Um, I just want to get my message out to the world, period. I don't care how I do it. I don't care how long it takes. My message will get out to the world. Someone will feel what I have to say. And if you don't want to feel it, guess what? 
I'm going to smack you over the head with it because you're going to feel what I have to say. I don't care how you feel about it. Um, that's that's where I'm at right now. Like, I bleed this writing. Y'all don't understand. Like, I bleed it every night. And I'm grinding out here, man. I'm grinding. Um, so, that's it. You know, it's Friday night. I'm chilling. I'm probably going to jump off and do some more writing. But... I got to get it done, man, because the legacy I want to leave is in my lines. Peace.